गाइज वेलकम बैक टू एम एच पी मेंटल हेल्थ पीस If you haven't subscribed to us yet please subscribe. Today we're going to talk about separation anxiety. But before we go to that, let's talk about the basics. Neurosis. What is neurosis? Neurosis is characterized by anxiety, depression or other feelings of unhappiness or distress that are out of proportion to the circumstances of a person's life. They may impair a person's functioning in virtually any area of his life, relationships or external affairs, but they are not severe enough to incapacitate the person. Affected patients generally do not suffer from the loss of the sense of reality seen in people with psychosis. What are the types of neurotic disorders? Anxiety, depression, phobias, obsessive compulsive disorder, post traumatic stress disorder. Now, let's come to anxiety disorder. There are several types of anxiety disorder generalized anxiety disorder panic disorder phobias agoraphobia social anxiety disorder separation anxiety disorder according to dsm 5 the first anxiety disorder is separation anxiety disorder what is it it is a mental health problem it can be seen in children and in adults so in children with separation anxiety disorder it can be seen with a lot of worry about being apart from family members or other close people the child has a fear of being lost from their family or of something bad occurring to the family if he or she is not with the person it is normal for toddlers and preschool children to show a degree of anxiety over real or threatened separation from people to whom they are attached Separation anxiety disorder should be diagnosed only when fear over separation constitutes the focus of the anxiety and when such anxiety arises during the early years. It is differentiated from normal separation anxiety when it is of such severity that it is statistically unusual including an abnormal persistence beyond the usual age period and when it is associated with significant problems in social functioning separation anxiety in grown ups can be seen as an excessive worry or scared feeling when they are away from someone they love or when they have to be by themselves it can feel like a big scary feeling that they can't control and it can make them feel sad lonely or even stick to their stomach sometimes people with separation anxiety disorder might be afraid to go to work or school or they might have a hard time sleeping without someone they love nearby it is important to remember that it is okay to feel scared sometimes and that there are things people can do to help them feel better like talking to a doctor or a therapist or learning new st- or learning new coping strategies let's discuss the symptoms of separation anxiety disorder according to the dsm 5 developmentally inappropriate and excessive fear or anxiety concerning separation from those to whom the individual is attached as evidenced by at least three of the following recurrent excessive distress when anticipating or experiencing separation from home or from major the attachment figures for example when a dog is separated from his owner for a very long time it can feel distress persistent and excessive worry about losing major attachment figures or about possible harm to them such as illness injury disaster or even death for example when a child is sent to boarding school away from home he or she can harm himself or herself because of separation anxiety and she or he can harm himself or herself to let go of that pain persistent reluctance or refusal to go out away from home to school to work or anywhere else because of the fear of separation so for example when a young kid is sent to preschool he refuses to go out to school because he cannot see his parents for a very long time so because of that the fear inculcates in the child and the child faces separation anxiety fear of losing his parents and the fear that he might never see them again persistent reluctance or refusal to sleep away from home or to go to sleep without being near a major attachment figure for example a girl cannot sleep without her mother she wants her presence till the time she doesn't fall asleep and if the mother is not there the girl gets major separation anxiety attack and wants her back at that point of time repeated nightmares involving the theme of separation for example a girl is having a lot of nightmares about getting separated from her parents so she will eventually start getting panic attacks or anxiety attacks about the thought of getting separated from her parents repeated complaints of physical symptoms when separation from major attachment figure occurs or is anticipated so for example a boy has fear of separation 
separating from his parents he might experience nausea stomach ache headache or vomiting in form of physical symptoms of separation anxiety the fear anxiety or avoidance is persistent lasting at least 4 weeks in children and adolescents and typically 6 months or more in adults the disturbance causes clinically significant distress or impairment in social academic occupational or other important areas of functioning the disturbance is not better explained by another mental disorder such as refusing to leave home because of excessive resistance to change in autism spectrum disorder delusions or hallucinations concerning separation in psychotic disorders refusal to go outside without a trusted companion in agoraphobia worries about ill health or other harm befalling significant others in generalized anxiety disorder or concerns about having an illness in anxiety disorder if you liked our content like share subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss an update from mhp